Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Class 6 Science Chapter 4, Sorting Materials in Groups. So the first thing that arises is matter. What is matter? Matter is something that occupies a space, can be perceived by our senses, and has weight. So that's what matter is. Matter has metals, have luster, which is a soft glow. Usually metals loses its luster after a time period because of moisture in the air. I see there are lots of spelling mistakes, but sorry about that. Now, another thing you can group things in is if it's soluble or insoluble. Soluble means that it can mix in water, dissolve, example, sugar and salt. Insoluble means can't mix in water, can't dissolve, example, stone, oil, etc. Now, why do things float? Things float because of their density. In the chapter, they talked about weight, but it's basically about density. There are three types of things in our world. It's transparent, translucent, and opaque. Transparent is can be seen through, which is glass, plastic sheets, some plastic sheets, and clear water. Or translucent, which means seen partially, which is like butter paper or frosted glass. Opaque is that light can pass through. Light can't pass through, sorry. Light can't pass through examples human or bent. With that, we have c completed the chapter. If you like, I can explain a little bit of density right here. There's a tub, you have some water, you drop a coin in here. Why does it sink? It sinks because metals are dense. So most metals won't really float on water, except if it's if it's not so dense. Dense means that there there are lots of um you see uh what do we call them molecules squished up together so they're gonna be dense whereas if you take lemon juice you take lemon juice this is a lemon and you squeeze it on the water it it won't fo float it will just mix because again we learned that in our last seven chemistry. That was because um, those these you see how liquids are far apart. These li these atoms just go in the middle and they dissolve easily. Whereas if you take um, a log of wood, maybe wood, this is wood. Okay, why does a log of wood float on water? Because it's not that dense, right? If you take a really dense Neodymium magnet. It's obviously gonna um fall to the bottom. But if you take a log of wood, it won't it won't fall to the bottom and it will stay low. You can also take a leaf. It's not only because of weight, it's because of their density. So that's a thing to remember. And with that we have finished it. Um hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new. Hope you um remembered everything because this is just a revision. And hope this was easy for you. And that's it for today. Bye. See you again.